gentlemen! Okay, y'all, this is my video response to Canadian Badasses 500 subscriber contest. Now, if you look directly below this video, I will put the link to his video and contest right there. All you have to do is click it, go over there, and see what the deal is. Now, I'm down here in Texas. It's already pretty warm. He's up there running around in a coat. I don't know why. It's like 83, 4 degrees today. It's beautiful weather. Got some cold refreshments. And as you can tell, got a very nice koozie there to keep them cool. Yes, sir. All right, Canadian badass, here you go. But you just did a video about your little garden that uh, looked like a little mud puddle. So I figure I'm going to show you my little garden, which is actually just a bunch of seeds thrown around the yards and they kind of grow and I just don't hit them with the weed eater. But it works and I just kind of like screwing around with it. Now the reason I watch Canadian Badass is because I'm kind of like the fly on the wall. I give him a hard time every time he makes a video. So that's the deal. But this is my video response to get in on his subscriber contest. So check it out. Now the first thing I want to show you is that's a bunch of garlic growing right there. And we got some cabbage. I don't know if that's really going to make it because it is getting very warm, but it is rolling up into a ball, so I might get something, something out of it. And then we have some broccoli growing right there. Now, of course, it's already gone to seed, and I'll probably just let the seeds do their thing, and then I'll just pull up the plants and start all over again. But let me show you something. I like to come out here, and you take your little flowers like this, See, the best thing about the garden is you can go out here and like pull the broccoli off and just eat it right off the ground. I mean, it's really good. Nice, tender, and you can eat the whole thing. So like I'm foraging and being a prepper and a survivalist and stuff. Good stuff. Now for the next part of my sorry looking garden, I got these chives. I planted them in these little buckets and I just never cut them down. They've gone to seed. Uh, but, you know, if I need an onion, I just come out here and cut off a sprig, and I'm good to go. And they do have these little flower things on them, but, you know, those don't do much for you. Now, what I really like, y'all, is I got these lime trees, or lemon trees. I don't know what they are, but I uh, just got them in some buckets. I need to transplant them again. But check it out. This year is the first year they are finally producing some limes. And since I drink Mexican beer... There ain't nothing better than some salt and lime in your Mexican beer. I'm telling you right now. Gotta have it. Now, this is a remnant from a pepper plant I had last year. Now, no Texas garden should be without pepper plants. And let you see this plant? See this pepper right here? I don't know what type it is, really don't care. All I know is that they do taste pretty good. Now, Canadian Badass, if uh, you're going to send me some hot hot sauce, you're going to have to step up your game. Because when I'm out here browsing around the backyard, that's what I do. I eat peppers. Or I eat broccoli. Or anything else I can get my hands on. By the way, my Frosty Cold Refreshment is a Pepsi. I mean, it is kind of early in the afternoon. I do have some standards. Not many, but some. Now let me show you my best plant that I just love the most. And it's a chili pekin plant. Best peppers on the planet. They're like little firecrackers. Let me show you these out. Now the problem with these plants is they grow everywhere you do not want them. But I don't cut them down because it's just my backyard. My wife does not like this at all. But she is a very forgiving woman and uh, you guys can be thankful for that otherwise you wouldn't see me doing the hunting that I'm doing so I don't know if she's got a boyfriend or just doesn't like me but either way I get to grow my peppers and I get a hunt so I guess it's a fair trade now let's check these peppers out if you zoom in right there that is a chili pekin that if you're not a pepper head will ruin your day let's try one out 
Okay, let me pull a couple one of these off here. We'll go for a good one. You got these little ones, and then they get kind of big, but that's about as big as they get right there. Hope you guys can see this, but we're gonna go with this one right here. See? Now, Canadian badass, you're gonna have to step up your game. I mean, Texas is known for hot sauce, also known for hot peppers. Mmm. Wow. Now that, <clears throat> wow, is a hot pepper. I don't normally do that. <clears throat> there you go. Usually I have a big greasy hamburger. I need about a dozen of those with the greasy hamburger. But it helps. If you just eat them straight like that, you get this kind of effect. Wow, that's good. Those peppers are good, and that's what's in my salsa. Usually, sometimes I don't put them in there. But since I'm in the backyard, let me show you what I'm about and fixing to do. Okay, I know how you Canadians are, Canadian badass, about the environment and being green and all that. So, this is the Al Gore, your hero, section of the video. Now, I'm going to barbecue because Jay-Z 2024 always wins these video responses. But not this time. I found out his trick. He's always barbecuing when he does his video response. So, that's what I'm going to do. And that's how you burn the hair right off your arm. Now, all good barbecue starts with mesquite. And then that's all I have to say. Mesquite. It's the state tree of Texas, by the way. Warming up my koozie here. Okay, Canadian badass, this concludes my video response for your subscriber contest. Of course, I've already been subscribed, like, forever. And you've subscribed to me, like, forever. My mouth is still burning from eating those peppers. But I know you've seen the Triple T video where that's a prepping thing to get your endorphins up so that when you get shot and take a bullet, you won't feel any pain. You'll be like John Wayne. So, from the Deep Fried King, the Hog Zone, and the Hog Zone Killing Crew, I wish you well. And hopefully it'll warm up, you know, up there so that you can actually take that coat off. So, hope you enjoyed my video response. Please check out his video. Link is below. And that's it. One more thing. Hey, Canadian Badass, uh, did you ever get the name of that barber that cut your hair the last time? Huh? Just checking. <laughs>